Hello everyone, my name is Brian and welcome to Broke Ballistics, where the guns aren't broke, I am. Today we'll be shooting at our undisclosed shooting location and we'll be shooting at cardboard. We all have a line around the house. How much do we actually need in order to stop a bullet? Let's find out. So to start off, we're going to be shooting a 22 revolver uh, out of a six inch barrel and my friend Caleb is going to take the shot. Let's see what it does. All right. Come on, fire one ready. Is this one recording? Oh, yeah, I started that one immediately. What the? <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Okay, let's see what kind of penetration we got. First, let's see if it went out the back. All right, so cardboard can stop a 22. Let's see how far it went and see if it bodes well for any higher calibers. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, but it does look like it's slowing down quite a bit. Oh, oh. Nope, one in 60, and it stopped in 60. That does not bode well for higher calibers. So, oop, when it's over, we will take it apart and see the round. So, let's grab a nine millimeter, but I do not have high hopes. All right, so now, which I'm pretty sure will go through it, we're gonna be shooting out of the six hour SP 2022. Uh, we're going to be shooting ball ammo um, out of this. I actually don't know how long the barrel is. Not too long. But let's see what happens. I don't think it stopped. So it went clean through everything. And you can actually see the bullet embedded in what we were using to hold up the cardboard right here. So there was more than enough energy to go through the two by four and embed itself into this. So I don't think we're getting the bullet out. But uh, yeah, cardboard, even if you have a hundred sheets of it, don't hide behind it. Find something a little more sturdy if you're uh, ever in trouble. We might do another one. I'll need a lot more cardboard than what we got. But uh, yeah, let's see if we can't get that 22. That is fascinating. The 20, it actually, it veered down when I shot. And it could have been at the high angle that I was shooting at, but let's see if we can't get that 22 out of here. Ugh. I should have brought my knife. See, cameraman's prepared. <laughs> I'm not. I'll just do it on the side. Okay, let's get that 22 round. And it almost went all the way through the 22. Very little bullet deformation. So, unless someone's shooting a 22, do not hide behind cardboard. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please consider liking, liking and subscribing. Man, that was a fumble. And uh, thank you for watching. 